it's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Becca Cosmetics and Christy Teigen collab. Um, I was very excited when I found out that this was coming out. I had to have it, of course. And so, of course, I want to review it for you guys. I got this in last Monday. I got it off of Sephora.com. They are currently out of stock. I don't know when they will be or if you see this, if it's back in stock. So, just go and look. This is the outer package, which is stunning in itself. And then we'll open it and it came with first light priming filter I think is one of their filters and then more about what's in there in different languages so here's the palette she is gorgeous oh pull that off and then we have the protector which is always nice I love when they do these and then here we have the palette, which yes, this is upside down. But um, these two are highlighters. This is the blush, and then this is the bronzer that it came with. Um, it doesn't say what skin type it's best for. It looks to be pretty medium toned for the bronzer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches. This I don't want to. I hate touching my new stuff because it's like I don't want to ruin the stamp. Which, it's the heart that Chrissy drew on for the, the this. And, are there shade names? Yes, there are. Awesome. So, this is Beach Nectar. And there's a little, ooh. So, here is that. That is really pretty. That was Beach Nectar. With a clean finger, I'm gonna go into Rose Gold. Ooh, those are gorgeous highlights. And the pigmentation is there, and these are buttery, very creamy. Okay, girl, I see you. All right, and then this is the blush. The blush is Hibiscus Bloom. Is that right under there? It's a lot brighter than I normally would go for a blush, but I mean, there's the this is pigmented. And then for our bronzy shade, it is called Malibu Soil. And there it is. Yeah, that's a really good, that's a pretty neutral tone for a bronzer. Okay. Um, today on my face, all I have is a just a basic eyeshadow with blue eyeliner. Um, I didn't do anything else besides put on my foundation because the blush, highlight, and contour, all my three favorites, are all in here. So I just have on typical plain face, which normally before I do my eyes, I go in contour, blush, highlight, and then set my face, and then I do my eyes. But anyway. We're gonna take Malibu Soil on a small contour Sephora brush. This is just regular brush. And we're gonna start here where our cheek starts to sink in. I'm just gonna blend that down. Here's in the way. Tap off the excess. I gotta do that. And the key with contouring is you always want to start in with a light hand. Never want to go in deep because it's easier to build it up than it is to blend it out and take it away. Um, so far, I'm really liking this. It's not too much. It's not crazy. It's like they're just enough. Okay, can you see the difference between this side and this side? This already looks more snatched. All right, I'm gonna go back in to the other side. Can we just talk about this mirror for a second? Cause that joker is huge like this is not a small palette 
and comparing a regular Becca highlighter, which like I said, is $38 to the ones on these. I mean, it's not, I mean, yes, there's a difference, but like this is a really good price point, especially for Becca, because Becca is, is an amazing cosmetic brand. I, I absolutely love them. Okay. Now I've got my light cheek contour where I want to always go in and just lightly narrow up my forehead a little bit. Nothing too major. If I was gonna wear my hair up or back, I'd normally go into more detail with the contouring of my forehead. And then I always do just a quick little sleep on the jawline. Usually with what's left over, sometimes I'll barely tap into it. And just, cause I mean, honestly, I don't have to go crazy with the chiseling on that. All right. And now with my Morphe G1, I'm going to take in and very, very lightly at first go into this, what's the name of it? Hibiscus Bloom. Cause she look, yeah, that's just one tap in there. She looking pigmented. Okay. Oh God, yes she is. And I like to set my blush right in on top of where I contour. Just because I feel like merging them together makes a really nice base for your highlight. Ooh, loud. And this is a lot brighter cheek than I normally would go for, but moderation, a lightly, it's really, really pretty. that's really nice and then again here's that swatched on the finger all right and now with a m510 i am going to go i'll do one on one side and one on the other i mean i'm not going anywhere after this so i mean it really doesn't matter uh we'll do beach nectar first because it's the one that's got the full becca and it's just really drawn my attention it almost reminds me of champagne pop but it's Completely different. Oh. Yes, girl. Hi. How are you? Cheek on fleek. Oh, my God. I don't even know if y'all. This is so pretty. Which, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from Becca. Because their highlighters are some of my absolute favorite. It's very buildable, but not knocking Kylie. It's not like the Kylie ones where you have to build and build and build. It, I mean, the first white color is there. Okay, that is so pretty. All right, I am going to go on ahead and compare the Champagne Pop beside, each, beside these two. Because I want to show that there is a difference because... It is very similar, but see, the Champagne Pop is a lot lighter than either one of these. Okay, and then with an R40, which is another good highlighting brush for Morphe, I'm going to dip into, I'm bad with names, the Rose Gold Shade. Can y'all see that? Lord, that is just. I'm on this. We'll go ahead and do our cute cupid cute bow. I mean, 
Can you see that? And I'll go back in with the other one to do the bridge of my nose because I always do the bridge of my nose. I mean, hello. Hello. Like, I could cover myself in this stuff. Okay, so it is safe to say this is more than worth the money. $49. I think that's how much it was. $49 for two highlighters, a blush, and a contour shade. Y'all. Becca was not messing around. And Christy, I mean, she's she's beautiful and flawless all on her own. And to know that she handpicked these shades and helped make this, I mean, it. I think it was going to be good anyway. But, that is my review on the Becca Chrissy Teigen collab. I love it. I highly recommend it. Again, it could be in stock by now or when you see this. Um, I do know that it is limited edition, so I don't know how many times they will restock it. But, I suggest you get your hands on it while you can. And I hope you all don't forget about the giveaway that I will be doing on the 20th. I will be picking three winners. All you have to do to enter the drawing is to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on my Kim Kardashian West collab with uh, Kylie Cosmetics, and that will enter you in for the drawing. All the winners will be announced. Um, Probably around 8 on the 20th. I'll give everybody time to look and see that everybody that wants to. And um, so, one of these three of the Sephora notebooks could be yours. So, again, I thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, night, wherever you are. And I'll see you on the next one.